a few words tonight about our US military buildup in Italy. Many of you, I'm sure, have not even heard about this, but as usual, you know, defense spending is completely off the table as far as the national media is concerned here in the United States. Comes as no surprise, of course, since we're all talking about cutting discretionary spending, <laughs> which is a drop in the bucket compared to our military budgets. And some might argue that, you know, we should cut back on our so-called, um, what do they call it, um, entitlement programs such as Social Security and Medicare. It's very convenient to call these programs, first off, entitlement programs, when people have actually paid taxes for those programs, worked for them, um, worked all their lives paying into these programs, and now uh, it's somehow viewed as some sort of a uh, free handout, so to speak, in Republican uh, terms or in view of that definition. The problem, of course, comes in with defense spending with either party, which is totally on board with it. There's no major discussion about cutting the defense spending at all. It doesn't come from any party. And so here's the latest. In terms of uh, budgetary deficits, I might add. So here we are, the United States, building a major new U.S. military base in Italy. I'll post a link to the article, and thank you very much, uh, to the website afterdowningstreet.org in order to some of some some of it uh, has not been fleshed out, but it's good to get it out there. And as usual, and it should be expected at this point, I guess, that some of our Democratic representatives are completely on board with this, including Representative Sanchez. To be sure. Her name is Loretta Sanchez, and uh, I believe she's a Democrat uh, from California. And she was kind of taken off guard during a holiday in Italy um, when some reporters asked her about her stance regarding this new uh, U.S. military base in, in Italy. And the way she defended um, the presence, um, or rather continuation, of the buildup, military buildup in uh, Italy, was um, was as follows. Basically, she said that all the decisions between the two governments, that is, the United States and Italy, have already been made. There is no going back. And what she further said is that we're working on a plan basically to consolidate the presence of our troops in the world to be ready to intervene in sensitive areas such as Africa, the Middle East, and the former Soviet republics. Now, for some of my regular viewers, you may have heard of the uh, grand chessboard, um, a, a, a kind of foreign policy doctrine proclaimed not only by um, Brzezinski, but others before him, which um, is essentially placing their bets on U.S. dominance all over the world, a uh, full spectrum dominance you might say, into uh, perpetuity. So, 
We're reinforcing um, U.S. troops, building new bases in Italy. The Italians, um, the Italian population, I might add, is very much opposed to this. But of course, this is not something that's going to be mentioned in the mainstream press here in America. Not at all. What you'll see um, in the mainstream press in America is people revolting in Italy, um, basically burning down cars and, and attacking bank buildings when they can't make a living and when their entire society is basically being trashed by thugs like Berlusconi, the very people with, uh, with whom we are cooperating there in Italy, a media giant, one of the biggest financial froth, uh, frothsters in history. And we're, we're okay with that though, you know? Um, and this is, I, I guess, why represent, uh, Representative Sanchez is now coming out uh, by saying that we are very grateful for this corporation from the government of Italy. First of all, because Italy is geographically located to those areas most at risk between Africa and the Middle East. And because Italy has been on our side through their own corrupt governments, I might add, all along, ranging from Prodi to Berlusconi, as she says, Berlusconi, sorry, to promote the alliance of a plan of a consolidation of our troops. This coming you know, through little interviews taken on her vacation. I'll post a link to the article. And she goes on to say, <laughs> believe it or not, okay, there will be no artillery, artillery, no, no U.S. aircraft. This will simply be a place where paratroopers will stay with lighter equipment and their families. I mean, you know, it's just, you can't make this stuff up. Does the transformation of American command stationed at Camp Eaterly to Africa AFRICOM signify a change to military targets of the Pentagon? No, she says, it's a demonstration of an emphasis on the African continent. I spoke with Obama about it and Africa needs help, even if operations are guided by a military command. The objectives are not really primarily military. My hope is that the military strategies can be enhanced while investing fewer dollars. <laughs> you might want to ask yourself, fewer dollars, investing fewer dollars for whom? The people who are living in Africa or elsewhere, or um, is it just a, kind of a World Bank scheme to basically enhance the grand big chess game for the elites all over the globe, basically? So. That's just a little update for tonight in terms of the military buildup in Italy. Of course, you know, never mind the U.S. budget deficit. We can still build a new military base in order to reconquer Africa, so to speak, and their natural resources.
Good night.